JOSA 2022. The Ministry of Education established the Joint Seat Allocation Authority, or JOSA, as a single platform for managing and regulating seat allocation and admissions to 114 top Indian institutes, including 23 IITs, 31 NITs, IIEST Shibpur, 26 Triple ITs, and 33 government-funded technical institutes, or GFTIs, via the Joint Admission Board, JAB, and the Central Seat Allocation Board, CSEB. JOSA counseling will admit students in the engineering or technology and architecture or planning programs based on the ranks in JEE main and JEE advanced examinations. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course, know your career. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite courses and careers. In this video, we're going to do a detailed analysis of JOSA eligibility criteria, counseling process, cutoff details, college predictions based on the ranks obtained in JEE main and advanced exams, and much more. Keep watching this video to know more about the JOSA counseling process. For many students, being accepted into one of the IITs is the culmination of years of effort and sacrifice. JEE advanced qualifiers can apply for admissions to IITs. Those seeking admissions to NITs, Triple ITs, GFTIs, and IIESTs must pass the JEE main exam and then register for JOSA counseling. What exactly is JOSA counseling and how can it help you? More than 50,000 engineering seats at IITs, NITs, Triple ITs, IIEST, and GFTI across the country are filled by JOSA's counseling. Seat distribution is based on 10 separate categories assigned to candidates, which include open, general economically weaker sections, other backward classes, the non-creamy layer, SE, ST, open PWD or person with a disability, Gen EWS PWD, OBC NCL PWD, SC PWD and ST PWD. To round out the categories, there are two more, home state quotas and quotas from other states. Admissions to the NITs, IIEST, and PEC Chandigarh are governed by these guidelines. Under the Home State Quota Regulation, priority will be given to applicants who are from the same state in which the educational institution is located. Other state quotas allow students from Union Territories and other states to apply for academic programs. Consider the case of two applicants, A and B, who are both eligible for admission to NIT Trichy because they are both in the open category and have achieved the same scores and assume candidate A is from Tamil Nadu and candidate B is from West Bengal. Candidate A has a better chance of getting into NIT Trichy since they may use the home state quota to win admission. And institutes that do not adhere to home and other state quotas have only one seat quota, known as the All India Quota. Students should be aware that there will be two seat pools, one for gender neutral students and one for female students only. Let's look at the female supernumerary seats now. The Ministry of Education enacted a requirement requiring there to be 20% of female candidates in a UG program at IITs, NITs and some triple ITs in order to enhance the gender balance in undergraduate programs. Therefore, they introduced supernumerary seats for women. Female candidates are eligible for seats in both pools, whereas all non-female candidates will only be eligible for seats distributed under the gender-neutral pool. For instance, candidate A is a female student in the open category who aspires to enroll in IIT Madras's computer science program. She is now competing for a spot in the female only pool category first. If she is unable to obtain a seat in the female supernumerary category because of low cutoff, or if there are other female applicants in the other category who have higher chances of securing an admission, candidate A will lose her seat. She will, however, be able to compete for the same degree program again through the general pool. One should be aware that the female applicant will only compete for a seat in the general neutral pool if she's unsuccessful in getting one from the female only pool. Additionally, seats designated as female only for a certain academic program are solely for female candidates. And if a seat becomes available, a non-female candidate will not be assigned to it. Next, let's take a quick look at the eligibility criteria for JOSA counseling applicants. Candidates for IIT academic and preparatory programs should have passed the JEE advanced exam. All candidates must have secured a rank in the JEE main exam to gain admissions to NITs, IIEST, Triple ITs and other GFTIs and they must have passed the class 12 exam with physics, math and chemistry, biology and biotechnology as optional courses. 
Applicants from the general category must have received an overall score of at least 75% to be eligible for admission to NITs, IIITs and GFTIs, while candidates from the reserved category must have received an overall score of 65%. Candidates must have also met the JEE main cutoff requirements. In addition, if the candidate ranks in the top 20% of their separate boards, they will be considered for admission. Let us now look at the numerous rank lists that will be created depending on various factors. JOSA will publish a rank list on its official website based on the results received by applicants in the JEE main and JEE advanced exams. A rank list will be created for the 10 distinct categories that we mentioned earlier. There will be a common rank list, category rankings and ranks for those with disabilities. Additionally, keep in mind that gender-neutral and female-only candidates have unique opening and closing ranks. A common rank list is a list in which all applicants are awarded a rank based on their JEE main results. The next set of rank lists will be based on groups such as EWS, Economically Weaker Sections, SE, ST, OBC and a similar set of categories for people with disabilities. The students must have obtained at least 2.5% in each of the three disciplines, that is Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics, as well as at least 8.75% in the JEE Advanced exam to be included in the rank list for admission to IITs. For each category tag, the minimum marks in individual subjects and minimum percentage of aggregate marks will differ. Let's learn more about the opening and closing ranks that are crucial for obtaining admission. JOSA will publish the admission cutoff as the opening and closing ranks for each round of counselling. In other words, if an applicant targets to secure an admission into NITs for a computer science degree and has a JEE main score of 200 and is in the general category with a rank below 5000, we may predict whether or not the individual should be admitted to the desired institution and the particular course based on the opening and closing ranks for each college. The opening rank is the rank at which the institute begins admission, while the closing rank is the rank after which the institute does not accept the admission. For example, in 2021, in the initial rank for open seat type and gender neutral pool admission into computer science and engineering, four years, Bachelor of Technology at NIT Delhi was 623, and the closing rank was 11,135. Students who belong to the open category, as well as those with rankings of more than 623 but less than 11,135, are entitled to select this academic program as one of their options during the online choice filling process. There are opening and closing rankings for each category, hence students will be requested to fill out their personal information, including the group they belong to and according to their category and scores, the academic degree programs that they are eligible to secure admissions will open up in their online form. The opening and closing rankings of the top 5 IITs and NITs after 6 rounds of counselling are shown here for the academic years 2020 and 2021, and these rankings are irrespective of courses and category. IIT Madras is ranked number one according to the NIRF for 2022. So let's look into the opening and closing ranks of this institution. In 2020 and 2021, the opening ranks have been three and two, whereas the closing ranks have changed a bit from 14,212 in 2020 to 14,636 in 2021. And keep in mind that this includes the ranks for all categories and courses. Say, according to 2021, if you have secured a rank between 2 and 14,636, you can aim to get a seat in IIT Madras, provided the seats are not taken by other candidates before your turn comes up in counselling. With this information, you'll have a better understanding of what ranks will get you into different universities. Computer science is one of the most popular courses among students, so we wanted to concentrate a little bit on it to give students more information. For candidates to have a sense of what to anticipate for 2022 counselling, we have created a list of opening and closing ranks specifically for computer science degree admissions into the top 5 IITs and NITs. So again here, if you see in IIT Madras, the opening and closing ranks in 2021 for the computer science degree is 2 and 644. This indicates that the competition is tight and this year it might get even more competitive. To understand how many seats are allocated for various institutes, let's now look at the seat matrix. In 2021, JOSA Counseling allocated 52,453 seats across various universities in India. Based on 2021's data, we have compiled the following data as an estimate for 2022 on how many seats would be available for counseling. Approximately 16,232 seats for 23 IITs. 23,997 seats for 31 NITs and 1 IIEST. 
6,146 seats for 26 IIIDs and 6,078 counselling seats for 33 GFTIs. Following a broad review of the number of seats that will be available and the opening and closing ranks, let's learn more about the specifics of the choices that applicants may choose when submitting an online application for JOSA counselling. Using their JEE main application number and password, students should first create a login account on the official JOSA website and carefully follow the instructions provided there. Once all of the information has been updated, students will be sent to a page where they may fill out their options. On this page, qualified institutes and courses will open up based on the student's JEE score, thus it is important to fill out your selections carefully. Keep in mind that the filling in of your choice is free of cost and that you have a 10-day window to make any necessary modifications. Before choosing a college, applicants should make sure to visit the website of the institution they are considering or you can visit the College Suggest YouTube channel to get more information about various colleges. During this 10-day period, there will be a mock seat allocation on the 7th and 9th days to offer an indication of how the actual counselling would take place. Also, applicants must lock their selections of institutions and courses in the online portal before the last date of the option filling. If they are not locked, the most recently saved choices will be used as the final list. After the 10-day window period, the counselling will begin and students will be notified of the same. In order for applicants to be prepared for counselling, the following are important steps. The following are important steps to be aware of before the first round of counselling. Freeze, float and slide. Now let's go into the specifics of each one of them. During each round of counselling, students should choose either one of these options. If the candidate is satisfied with the assigned academic program, he or she should select freeze which means that the student will not be able to participate in subsequent rounds of counselling and that the chosen seat will be assigned to them. If a student selects the float option, it signifies that they accept the seat provided to their desired degree program but are still open to further rounds of counselling to see if they are offered admission to an academic program at any other institute of their choice. In addition, the student will be considered for future rounds of counselling. Slide option Once a candidate has accepted the admission, they can select the slide option and wait to see if admission to a higher academic program in the same institute is offered to them in the subsequent rounds of counselling so that they can select that course. It is important to note that slide and float choices are only accessible to individuals who are not awarded admission of their first choice. Also make a note that slide and float options will not be available in the final round of JOSA counselling. Students should also be aware that the option to withdraw is accessible throughout the counselling process and that the regulations for withdrawal in the admission to IITs and NITs vary slightly. If a student has accepted a seat at IIT, they can withdraw by reporting on the online portal and the withdrawal option will be available from the second to the fifth round of seat allocation. And if a student has allocated a seat in NIT colleges, then they have the option to withdraw their seat till the sixth round of counselling. If a student withdraws their seat, their initial seat acceptance fee will be returned once the processing cost is deducted and they will not be eligible for further rounds of seat allocation. Let's take a look at the steps involved in JOSA counselling. Students, please follow these six procedures while registering for JOSA counselling. The first step is to register. Students who have passed the JEE main exam should use the same credentials to register in JOSA's official online portal and fill out the necessary personal information. Step 2. Filling out choices. In this step, candidates must prepare a list of the courses and colleges to which they want to be admitted. The options will be displayed based on the student's rank and scores. Select from the choices and prioritize the list. The third step is locking their selections, where after entering the course and college information, users must lock their selections and save the details for future reference. The fourth step is seat allocation where candidates will be assigned seats in each round of counselling based on their JEE main All India rank and the courses and colleges they had selected in the previous step. If the student is assigned the desired course and college, they can choose to freeze the choice, otherwise they can choose float or slide options. Once the desired seat is assigned, the candidate must download the provisional seat allocation letter. Then the students must upload the required documents in the JOSA portal and pay the seat acceptance fee. The seat acceptance fee is Rs 15,000 for applicants with the category tags SC, ST, Gen PWD, Gen EWS PWD, OBC NCL PWD, and SC slash ST PWD, and Rs 35,000 for candidates from other categories. Step 5 will involve online document verification prior to the final admission process. 
If any questions arise after the papers have been submitted online, the student must react to them in the online mode within the time frame specified and failure to respond to such questions results in the cancellation of the assigned seat. The documents that will be required to upload online are as follows. Class 12 mark sheet, class 10 mark sheet, category certificate, person with disabilities must upload appropriate documentation, medical certificate, JEE main admit card, OCI slash PIO card if applicable. Step 6 is fee payment, during which students must formally report to their allocated college and pay the remaining fees, as well as finish the administrative procedure. And while reporting physically to the allocated college, one should have a paper copy of the documents that have been uploaded online, as well as the following documents. Three passport size photographs, JEE main rank card, date of birth proof, copy of confirmation page, provisional seat allotted letter, proof of payment of seat acceptance fee. Here are our top 5 JOSA counseling facts to keep in mind. Have a printed copy of the schedule of events to ensure that you adhere to the right dates and deadlines. Avoid making any mistakes while completing the online application and be sure to choose the correct courses and the institutions that you are interested in. On the 10th day, lock your selections on the web portal. Keep in mind the freeze, float and slide possibilities and make the right decision. To prevent any issues during counseling and following seat allocation, the necessary documents should be prepared in both hard copy and electronic format. We hope we've given you all of the insights about what one needs to know about JOSA counseling. If you have any queries, feel free to reach out to avail more information. What is the course that you want to pursue next? Tell us. We will provide you with all of the information that you need to prove your decision right. If you agree with our analysis, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.